But a lot of times, the best in the world, they, they want to get better. And so they want feedback on how to get better. I'll never forget one example in particular. There's a professional athlete who was one of the best in the league. And he was going through a drill. And a coach was saying, yeah, great job. Yeah, great job. Yeah, yeah there, there you go. Good job. Great movement. And this player, he ends up stopping the drill. And he says, so are you going to help us or what? The coach goes, what do you mean? He goes, we're the best in the world. He says this. And we get encouragement from the fans. We get encouragement for them. Great job. You're amazing. Your job as a coach is to take us to the next level. What am I doing wrong? How do I need to get better? My feet aren't perfect all the time. My hands aren't perfect all the time. Coach us up. You're my external eyes. Tell me what I need to do better. And from that moment, the coach started giving some good feedback, from very direct feedback on how these elite tip of the spear athletes could improve. And when did you know it? They started to get better. They started to appreciate it. And the coach was, was more respected as a result of it. This is so true. I don't know where the disconnect came in, but all athletes that want to succeed want to get pushed. Nobody wants good job all the time. Maybe you're not ready if you need constant reassurance that you're doing a good job, but this game is based and your growth is based on your ability to fight through difficult struggles. Working out is difficult. We want to push ourselves. We want to make sure your footwork is perfect. In shooting and ball handling and moves off the dribble, I am always conscious of all the little micro things that every player needs to do right. And I make sure I correct every single one. And over time, they're going to be able to adjust to every single one and they can frustrate players. I've had players frustrated. I have players tell me all the time, yeah, but I feel more comfortable doing this or that. I know that's a self-confidence thing and I know the great players, the really great ones and the ones that we have succeed want more. They always want more. Coach, how do I do this better? How do I jump higher? How do I get more physical? How do I make more shots? How do I make more consistent on my driving? How do I not turn over the ball? These are the players that make coaches happy. We want every player to get there, and it takes a lot of self-confidence, self-awareness that you need to be able to be pushed and not worry about what people think of you or if you're comfortable. If you don't want to be uncomfortable, I guarantee you don't want to get better. Thank you.